hi you're here because you're about to go on a hair journey with me a lot of people will probably see photos of my hair on instagram and think it was just like this really cool fun spontaneous thing that i've done but no i have had this in the works since last august it's currently july i've been wanting to cut my hair for 11 months uh, why have i held back you ask um many reasons didn't feel ready wanted to kind of do it during a period of change and um, that's about it. That's literally it. I just had to come to terms with the fact that I was actually gonna do it, I guess. And so by setting myself a definitive date, like I'm gonna do it like right after I finish work and travel, that somehow like was a goal for me to work towards. And I know I, I could have done it any time. I could have literally done this at any point, but this feels like the most momentous time to do it. And so the one that makes most sense because I've heard that South Korea is very, very, very hot and humid in the summer, especially as I'm gonna be staying in Busan, which is on the beach, basically. It's a city on the beach. and. So so it is going to be incredibly humid and I'm so excited for it but also I feel like a change in hairstyle would be very suitable. How are you cutting your hair you ask? I'm cutting a lot of my hair off and I kind of created a whole Pinterest board around this initial inspiration which I just happened to find on Instagram. I think it's a really cool hair style and I think it would hopefully suit me. I just really hope it works out and kind of looks exactly like this. That's how I've been imagining myself to look so if it doesn't turn out like that uh, it's gonna be <laughs> quite disillusioning but yeah I mean I'm sure it'll be fine because I did so much fucking research into this I like honestly people will genuinely think it's spontaneous and it's like no I have spent like ages compiling Pinterest boards researching like good hairdressers near me I have done so much research I've like stalked on Facebook some of the stylists just to see what their work looks like and stuff I finally found the perfect place that I think would work for me and the perfect stylist because you can't just choose the salon because it's so fancy, you have to choose your stylist as well. And it's currently Wednesday and my hair will be officially snipped on Saturday, which is pretty crazy. And I know I am very enthused and I'm very excited and I cannot wait, but even just during this period of planning and thinking about it, and even in the 11 months preluding this event, I have been so up and down about it. And no one's making me do this. It is a personal choice, but even so, I've still felt unsure, uh, anxious, scared. It's literally a haircut and I know a lot of people are gonna be like get over yourself it grows and I know that it's not that deep. <laughs> it's still like giving me like sleepless nights. This is not why I'm seeing a therapist. I think it is good to acknowledge like the weight of gender stereotypes. I was quite disheartened with myself, like kind of frustrated because I had really thought that I had completely outgrown this heteronormative gender stereotyping way of thinking. Like it just turns out that deep deep down in my subconscious there is still this thought pattern there. I guess that's kind of like where it extends to beyond just hair, right? It can apply to multiple things. I consider myself to be a very open person and um, the fact that like all these crazy thoughts started cropping up was so weird to me and I can only think it's because during my formative years and growing up I was really raised with these thoughts and these ideals as much as I think I've outgrown them there's they're still sometimes lurking there for specific things and I think the idea of changing my hair has really played on a lot of insecurities so I guess with the gender stereotyping it's very much like there's this like fear very irrational and completely ridiculous but there is this like deep-rooted fear of not being feminine enough anymore when i cut my hair not being considered attractive people making assumptions about me and my sexuality and um granted i have lots of friends who have haircuts very similar to this and I have none of these preconceived notions about them. Absolutely none. If they want to portray themselves as feminine, they will continue to be very feminine even with the short hairdo. It really all just applies to me. It's all very, a lot of inward bias and I think yes, definitely there's a lot of internalized homophobia there still, which is something I'm trying to work on and, and that's something I've recently had to, you know, accept um, is that I still do have internalized homophobia as much as I tried to deny it for a very long time and I was like, I'm completely happy with my my sexuality and being bisexual or actually pansexual I, I thought for the longest time I was fine and then you know something like this will happen or I'll choose to do something like this and it'll kind of throw everything into question again like oh I guess I'm not fully comfortable <laughs> with my sexuality and I am slightly insecure in my femininity it's crazy though because I feel like um, there's been a lot of confirmation bias around my fear of losing my femininity not from like any genuine friends but from other people like acquaintances or maybe people I'm not really friends with or like colleagues who I've mentioned 
cutting my hair to and then I, they've they've asked for a picture and I've showed them said picture a lot of them have kind of reaffirmed that fear and been like oh my god I could I could never lose my hair oh my god imagine like oh my my boyfriend my husband would never like let that happen there's so much emphasis placed on having long hair and I like I said I wasn't gonna get too deep about this I know I know but it's pretty crazy how um, something's as fragile as as like this this like ornament on our heads can like define how feminine and attractive we are I just find that crazy I mean if you find your confidence in your hair that's amazing and a lot of people are so attached to their hair and they would never want to cut it and that's completely fine but the fact that we attach such a heavy emphasis on having long hair as a woman is really crazy so there's been a lot of up and down as you can tell um, and I just kind of wanted to talk about that because I feel like it's one thing to be like oh, I'm gonna cut my hair um, but it's a whole other to like have to like I guess face all these emotional internal obstacles just to get to the point where you actually act out what you want to do. Does that even make sense? Was that even a sentence? I don't know. Long story short, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Every single day I consider cancelling the appointment, but I won't. And um, I think as long as it turns out how I hope it will, it'll all be fine. And you know what? It's really not that deep. Hair grows back. It doesn't fucking matter. I will just wear a cap or a very cool headdress or a crown or something to hide the fact that I have shitty hair if it doesn't turn out well. Uh, also, I'm paying so much money. Like, I, I literally have scissors, like hair scissors here. I got my boyfriend to cut my hair a few months ago because I'm just so cheap and I won't go to the hairdresser, but this time I was like, this is important. I am going to pay a lot of money and go to a fancy place so that it is done right. So I have taken all the, the, the correct steps here, so I really hope that the universe, um, well, not really the universe, the hairstylist does this justice. <laughs> It is a considerable amount of time later, I would say about five days, and this is my hair after I've washed it. It looks a bit fluffier than when the lady first did it, but spoiler alert, I love it, um, and everything I say is going to be really positive. It was such a good experience. It's, it's an interesting thing to style, it kind of just goes all over the place, which is a thing. But yeah, I mean, so the, the actual hairdresser was amazing, definitely worth all of the money that I paid. She was so lovely. Um, and before like we did anything, she was like, I wanna get a feel of your hair and what your hair's like. So we sat down together and she kind of just like played with my hair for a bit. And she was like, did you know you have curly hair? And I was like, I feel like I'm in a TikTok right now. Like there, I've seen so many TikToks where it's like, I actually have curly hair and they do this whole hair routine and suddenly their hair is like, super curly and she was like yeah you can tell like from your baby hairs and stuff the way they curl and like the fact that your hair's really frizzy means that it's actually curly and she was like i bet you brush your hair every day don't you and she was like so outraged and disgusted that no one had ever taught me how to like care for my hair properly no one in my family has curly hair i think apart from my brother so i don't think either of us were ever really taught how to look after our hair so that was like a very funny conversation and also very informative because then she gave me really good advice and when I showed her the photo that I wanted she said that that wasn't gonna suit my hair type because my hair's a bit curly and by curly I don't mean like tight, tight ringlets it's more just like wavy and loose curls but she was like because my hair is like that it's not gonna suit such a short haircut because it's just gonna stick up all the, over the place so she suggested a slightly longer cut which is why this looks a bit maybe shaggier than my original reference photo and she was like this will suit you a lot more because after a few washes your hair will start to naturally curl which it's started to slightly do already i don't know if you can tell but i think it needs a few more washes before we get to that stage but she was saying you know once your hair realizes that it's short it'll start to curl a bit and she like was scrolling through pinterest showing you so many examples of what it would look like which just felt so nice um to like have someone take on board what I want to do and then make it work for me. I just, yeah, I really like that. It was, I would honestly say it's the best hairdresser experience I've ever had. And I was saying like, you know, every hairdresser I've ever gone to at the end, like the way they style it is always straighten my hair. And she was like, yeah, that's just because it's the easiest thing to do, but that's not what you're meant to do with every single hair type. And she gave me such good advice on like how to care for my hair. So like my routine now is I have to wash my hair with shampoo twice and then put conditioner in and brush the conditioner through my hair. And that's the only time I ever brush my hair and then I have to like dab it a bit to like absorb some of the water when I'm when I'm done showering I have this like 
gel like curls gel but it's meant to like accentuate your curls so it's not like mousse or anything it's not sticky but it's meant to like defrizz your hair and make it make the curls more pronounced so i have to put like a small amount of that in my hair and then like curl my fringe and then just leave it like that like slurge up my hair um and just leave it to dry and then when it's done like shake shake all the curls loose and that's it and like my everyday like hair routine is just to run my fingers through my hair and if it is like sticking up to like put a bit of water on my hands and like dab it down and stuff yeah this was like the most basic like hair hair routine it's so low maintenance which i really love but it is also completely different to how i was managing my hair before so i'm already seeing differences like my hair is not frizzy at all and it's always had like a frizzy like texture to it or look which i always hated and it's partially why i wanted to cut my hair because i was like i feel like you know i don't like this and it turns out i was just mistreating my hair the whole time i i absolutely love it for the first few days at least i was just like so insanely confident like so much more than normal i'm normal i was like this is amazing i'm obsessed with this haircut which i still am but i think the novelty is worn off a little bit now that it's almost a week in i'm more used to it so i think now the the rose tinted glasses have kind of worn off and i can start seeing some of my own flaws again in, in myself and my body and stuff which i guess was to be expected i don't think cutting your hair is going to be a remedy for like self-love and self-acceptance overall i really love this haircut i think one of the reasons that's made me so much more confident and why i feel like it's so right for me is because ever since i've cut it i felt like this reflects who i am so much more i feel so much more in touch with my pansexuality i feel like i've kind of shared my good straight girl skin which feels really good i presented as a very straight person and i'm in a heterosexual relationship and i found my appearance very invalidating i didn't think it would impact me this much, but it really has. I feel so much more in touch with like myself. And I know I said it wasn't gonna be that deep. I was like, it's just hair. It's not gonna be that serious, but it really has impacted how I feel in myself. And I feel like I'm presenting who I really am to the world. And when people see me and they like me, they really like me and they're really seeing me, which just feels really good. I'm really happy with it. I think it works with all of my outfits, which I really love. And I look different in all of my usual outfits. So it's almost like, I don't know, a whole new style, even though it's not. Like even like with this dress, I've had this dress for like two years now. And I feel like it gives it a whole new look with this haircut. So I'm kind of having the best time ever, like living my best vintage life because most of my clothes have like an old vintage -y feel and I feel like it suits this haircut so well and whenever I wear like my clothing that I feel super confident in like a dress like this that I feel it really reflects my style along with this new haircut I'm just like this is the epitome of me this is who I am as a person and that makes me really happy sorry the sun is deciding to make an appearance in my video that's really annoying and i think it's also probably bad for my camera <laughs> but we we keep going i suppose yeah at the end of the day like i said if you think that this would improve your confidence levels or make you feel more in touch with who you are and as long as you're able to i highly recommend cutting your hair it has made me feel so good i feel so validated i'm kind of bummed because i actually wanted to capture my boyfriend's reaction to my hairstyle but unfortunately he saw me through a window before i i realized he was there so he saw it before i could capture his his reaction but he was very positive very lovely very kind about it and um yeah he loves it a lot as does pretty much everyone in my life which is yeah it, it's really heartening to like make a change and feel so accepted for it i feel like i give off like pixie type vibes which i like especially if i like tuck my hair behind my ears i look like a little pixie oh my god some weirdo literally intentionally walked through the bushes to come and see what i was doing ew that made me very uncomfortable and that was really gross but we move on i don't think it even took like that much adjustment to like get used to this hairstyle um like as soon as i got it it almost felt like i'd always had this hair and i was always meant to have this hair i haven't really like like missed my hair or like gone to touch it and it's not there or anything um i thought i would miss it a lot more than i do i think the only like thing i've had to adjust to is having a fringe because oh my god it's so warm right now it's like 30 degrees on an average day in the uk because it's like peak summer and i'm not used to having a fringe and it makes my forehead feel so warm sometimes i just have to like take a breather and be like oh my god breathe and washing my face in the mornings has posed a bit of a challenge i've had to get like a band to like hold my hair back 
so I can actually wash my face properly. But beyond that, that's about it. I think also because there's a slightly longer haircut and it hasn't fully started curling, it sometimes goes like across my eyebrow, or almost into my eye, and that is very annoying. I'm looking forward to when it officially starts curling. It's really like getting there. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, I'm excited for it to not be in my eyes anymore. Um, it does require a lot of maintenance. Um, the hairdresser was recommending I get it cut every two months so that it doesn't get too long. Now she's the only hairdresser I trust with my hair and I don't want to have to spend an extortionate amount of money every time I want to get my hair cut. So I am not sure if I'm going to grow it out or get it cut once more and let it grow out or something. If it's something that I have to get cut every two months and she's the only hairdresser I trust, it's not super sustainable, but I'll, I'll see. And I asked her like how, what it would look like if I were wanting to grow this hairstyle out. And she was like, it's very feasible. Like, you know, it'll take a while because it's obviously very short, but it's very feasible. And what I actually found very interesting which she was like you know you don't have to push through like the ugly hair phase when you, people are growing their hair out they feel like they they can't cut their hair like it goes against what they're trying to do which is grow it out so they won't touch their hair at all hair at all and she was saying like that's completely untrue like you totally can style and cut your hair as you're growing it out and you can actually have a lot of fun with it because you can do a bunch of different fun hairstyles as it grows out different lengths and i was like that sounds really lovely and i really like the idea of that so that was actually pretty fun and i think if i were to grow my hair out she's probably someone i'd go to as a trusted advisor but yeah overall amazing experience uh great feedback i absolutely love it and my hair actually feels thicker i think because it's obviously layered on top of itself now it feels a lot thicker than it did um because i actually have pretty thin hair um so yeah overall just really good vibes and i know i said it wasn't going to be that deep but basically my entire life has been changed just because i cut my hair but yeah thank you for coming with me on this journey and if you want to cut your hair do it um as long as you go to someone who you trust and maybe someone who can recommend if it's right for your hair type or not that's pretty useful yeah have a lovely day life time Thank you for coming here. Goodbye.